Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to go over something that's super quick and super straightforward, and it happens after you collect it in Qualtrics. We're going to go over how you can download your Qualtrics data so that you can send it up somewhere for further analysis or look into the data to see if there are any interesting trends or any unique observations that can be gleaned from it. Now, to download your data, what you're going to want to do is head into your survey, head up to your data analysis, in the top right corner here, you should see something that says export and import. Once you click on that, you're going to click export data. And then you're going to choose on one of a number of different files to export it to. We usually recommend a CSV file as that's the most compatible with the way the data is formatted and structured. And then once you click that, you're going to click download and then you'll be good to go. If you check download all fields, that will download everything that you have in here in the column chooser, every possible question, every possible embedded data field, every possible contact field, every possible metadata field. It'll give you all the data as you'd like it as is collected in data analysis. But if you uncheck download all fields, what it will do is simply export the view you currently see in the data analysis. So this table, it will just export these specific columns instead of everything like what would happen if you select download all fields. Now, some other additional options you have when exporting this data is you can either choose to replace recoded values with the numbers you have as the recode values in here. So for example, if I recoded this Q3 to 12345, instead of having these tags, one awful, two bad, three okay, four good, and five great, I can choose to export the numerical values instead of these more text-based tags. Additionally, another option you do have once you are exporting your data if you click down here, you can either compress it as a zip file or have it open up completely and then go through these different options and select what you would like to keep or remove from your export file. Once again, to recap, the way in which you're going to go about downloading your data from Qualtrics is head into your survey, into data analysis. In the top right corner, you'll see this option that says export and import. I'm going to click it. Click export data, and then you can configure the options you want, either using numeric or choice text. Check these guys on or off, depending on what you're looking for. Download all fields or not. And then once you hit download here, you'll be good to go. Hope that clarifies things. If you guys have any additional questions and concerns or any other topics you'd like to go over, please feel free to shout in the comment section below. Always happy to clarify anything or take any ideas for new topics. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys again soon in the next video. Take care.